So there's a program called Files, which is a replacement for Windows Explorer that just got an update to version 3.1. Now, what this includes is a system tray icon. And it's supposed to indicate whether you're using it or not. And it does, as you can see right here, which is good. Open minimized. So it lets you launch the files apps on startup in a minimized state. To do so, toggle on open files on Windows startup. That's pretty good. I'm not going to do that because that's like hard to do and annoying. Smart archive extract. The app can now pick the best mode for extracting your files and unpacking an archive with a single. Interesting. So give me a sec. Let's go to downloads and let's see what it can do with this. So we're supposed to right click extract and there's a, also a shortcut which is called uh control shift e context menu really control shift e oh look at that it did it interesting i mean there's two folders which is kind of stupid but it did it nonetheless uh the context menu this one actually has one that works so if we go into here and as you can see, show more options for NanoZip. NanoZip should be right here with everything else. Uh, add to favorites and so on. Edit files. So I can set that as work. Yep, it shows as work. And create folder with selection. Extract is right here. They're smart. So that's what it did. And what else can we do? We can copy and do all that cool stuff. Can we right click this? and go to properties is that what this is look at that it has an actual properties menu that's its own that's pretty cool can we go to drives and do the same no it doesn't let us it crashed oh well these are never really stable sadly so let's try again it will work leaving you nope it does not want to open up properties for those what about videos can we go to properties for videos yes yes we can uh the details are as follows that is an incorrect bit rate sample rates correct duration is actually the bit rate is probably correct let me try this uh, here instead. Uh, it's a bigger file, so it crashes. It crashes on properties for large files, which is unfortunate. Oh, so it has improved sorting and improved drag and drop support. So let's try that out. So how does the drag and drop support work? Go to videos and rendered nope um what if i did that okay well that worked that's nice and there's a ton of other issues that they managed to fix with the app unfortunately it looks like crashing was not one of them anyway this is just another alternative to the windows explorer which i still don't understand for the life of me while anybody why anybody wants to replace it when most of these solutions are incredibly unstable and don't work. If you guys want to use this, you can check out my video on how to compile this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, crap, I won't because look, we forgot to go through settings. Hey, hey, look at all this. There's a ton of settings, including context menu stuff. And continue where your left off exists widgets exist which is nice open tabs and dual plane mode what does that even mean open and new plane oh that's pretty cool that should be a feature at windows appearance there's tons of it like if you want purple light violet black gold it's all here i mean let's go to light violet it looks nice I like it, but uh, it's just a bit too transparent for me. 
you know what, maybe it wasn't. But more transparent it is, the uglier it looks. So, light, Ooh, flashbang, default, which is your system, and then dark. Uh, you can choose to have things compact or uncompact, it's up to you. Folders, so default layout, sorting and grouping. And honestly, yeah, I guess I would go with date modified. Uh, descending order, group by. Again, date modified. Grouping in order, descending order, group by date, so here, or by day. Sort priority, sort, sort, sort folders first, which is always appreciated. Automatically choose the best layout. I mean, yeah, but no. Hidden folders and files, so you can show them, you can turn them off. Extensions for unknown file types, show thumbnails. The thumbnails are so bad sometimes. And the rest of these. Uh, this one has a drop down. Open items in a single click. Instead of double clicking. Open folders with a single click in a column layout. Go confirm. Yeah. For deleting items always. Go warning when changing files extensions. Okay. Calculate folder size. Pretty interesting. And then you have tags. You can create them. Uh, log into your GitHub. Doesn't seem to want to work. And advanced is all of this. And as you can see, we're on version 3.1. Okay. The reason I'm not using this in the Microsoft Store is because it costs like $8.99. And I'd rather just compile it and use it instead of spending money on something that's not really stable at the moment. I'm hoping it does get stable. I will report bugs when I can. But other than this, I do not find it usable at the moment. It's a nice concept and a nice idea, but it needs to concentrate on fixing bugs, 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 bugs. Not implementing features at the moment. It is feature rich. It just needs to fix the bugs like KDE on Linux. They need to fix the bugs and stop introducing half-assed rush stuff. Bug fix, bug fix, bug fix. Okay. It also needs to be able to read from Windows indexing. This is much faster mind you, than the other one was. You go into thumbnails. Notice a problem? Notice how long it takes? Yeah, Windows is instantaneous because it indexes all of your files. And if this app could tap into that indexing, everything would be instant. Not only that, but what the hell is this? It's a freaking PNG. Like... Enable transparency so the darkness doesn't show. Because if I go into the same folder, right here, and we go into thumbnails, look at this. Look, there's no blackness around it. It's transparent like it's supposed to be. There are certain small little things that need to be fixed. Crashing, the stability, the performance. Overall, it's going well, but it's not ready for day-to-day -day use. Not from my experience. And I did compile and release, so we'd have the best performance, but it doesn't seem to have made a difference. And that's unfortunate. And the fact that they removed the ability to not install this from GitHub is a bit disappointing. You either buy it on the Microsoft Store or you compile it. It's the only two options. They're basically forcing the average user to buy it. And I'm not into buying on stable products. But I love this dual plane thing. It's really cool. That allows for a lot of good multitasking. But I'm also not very impressed with the bugs. The bugs. Please, make it a focus. Stability, performance, bugs. Stability, performance, bugs. Or bugs, stability, performance. Make an order. Because you got a good thing going here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, share the video, all that cool stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.